Okay, so maybe you're asking the question, why are you doing this? And that could be, uh, where did the interest come from? Why Uganda? Why this trip? Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other whys, but let me just give you a little background. Um, I didn't even know where Uganda was at uh, about five years ago. Uh, I'm sure I'd heard the country's name, but didn't know any of the history. Um, after I started working at uh, EMI, my last job, um, a gal at my job told me about this organization. Um, it's called the Invisible Children. And uh, it was these guys that went over to Africa, uh, filmmakers, uh, they wanted to tell a story, find a story to tell. And um, the story they found was about these kids um, in northern Uganda. Um, kids that were having to commute every night, walk anywhere from like 3 to 15 miles um, to go to a place where they were just trying to find safety. Um, there was a rebel army called the Lord's Resistance Army. Um, and they were abducting kids from their homes at night. And uh, being abducted into the war, um, kids as young as five and seven years old, I think, um, up to like 12, that's the general range, um, were being taken and forced to join this army. Um, they became child soldiers, um, were forced to sometimes kill their family, um, kill their friends, forced to go away, do whatever, mutilate people, um, bad stuff. And uh, I'm sure you're thinking, right, why are you going to this? Um, but the thing is, is that the kids in the story, I mean, you see these kids and you realize that um, their, their childhood has just been stolen from them uh, and their families as if they don't have enough to deal with. Uh, their, their children were just taken from their home. And um, so Invisible Children kind of introduced me to Uganda and um, really got me asking, you know, what's going on over there? And, uh, and so I started to learn, didn't know much about it, and uh, didn't really know what to make of it. You know, just a typical American learning about something going on around the world. Um, so I kind of kept up with that, um, followed what they were they were saying. You know, they were tracking uh, what was going on up there, the the war and everything. Um, so that was part one. Uh, another thing, not necessarily about Uganda, um, was a little organization called Blood Water Mission. Uh, you might have heard of it. Um, it was formed by the guys in the band Jars Clay, and uh, they're all about clean water and clean blood. There are people that don't have a clean water source in Africa within 10 miles. And uh, I go through a lot of water in my life, and if I had to walk 10 miles carrying my water back with me, uh, sometimes it wasn't even a clean water source, um, that would be hard. And uh, I started learning that for just a mere $3,000, you could donate that, and a well would be built in this community of uh, maybe 500 people, um, but it would give them clean water for the rest of their life. And um, that meant that they had all of this time all of a sudden. Um, kids could go to school. Uh, parents could maybe work a little bit, or at least work in their fields if they had them. Um, it did huge things. So when I learned about that, it just kind of tugged on my heart for these people, and I thought, it's America, $3,000 isn't that much. Um, so I raised $3,000, and um, I don't know what helped, um, but I know that there's a community there um, that has water now, <laughs> and that's incredible. Um, so blood water was part two. Uh, and all, all this time going on in these past four years, I don't, I don't know why this came about. I don't know why I started learning about Uganda, uh, why it struck me more than anybody else I know, um, or for whatever reason, but it did. And so last year, I don't know if you'll be able to see this picture, um, but this
this is a little girl that I sponsor now um, through an organization called World Vision. And uh, if you look real close, she is possibly the cutest little girl you have ever seen. Um, I love her. I don't know her. Um, but she lives in western Uganda. And um, I know that by sponsoring her, um, there's a whole world of hope that's been put in her life. Um, chances to go to school, uh, chances for her family just to have a little extra money, um, chances for her and her family um, to learn something about faith um, and a God that loves them so much. Um, there's a quote in the Invisible Children. They, uh, they say that uh, where you live shouldn't determine if you live. I think it, it shouldn't determine, you know, I hated that the people in Uganda have been so affected by the things that they have. Um, but as I've learned about it, I just, I can't help it. Like, I love these people. I don't, I don't even know these people. Um, so when I heard about this trip with Sweet Sleep, I read about it, and um, I'll give you a little more about why, you know, what we're doing there. But I knew I had to go. Um, I knew that this was my chance, and uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be great.